Welcome to the Unknown Options, the place where we explore the unknown options. Um, today we have an interesting topic um, talking about artificial intelligence. Um, obviously, over the past couple of years, um, Chat GPT, a lot of large uh, language models have taken the world by storm, um, and and rightfully so. I mean, they're they're awesome technologies, and people are using them to um, really do anything and everything. But how are these technologies going to affect uh, the job market, the labor market in the future? And how can you, I guess, future proof your skills um, to still stay competitive in a world that's dominated by AI? Um, stay tuned. We're definitely going to go in depth about how you can do that and how you can stay prepared for the uh, future. That's I mean, I wouldn't even call it a future, the present that's um, here. Obviously, layoffs have been the uh, common theme among uh, 2023 and I guess uh, probably late or mid-year 2022, but there are some interesting layoffs that have been happening uh, recently. Uh, for one, um, IBM, uh, their CEO um, planned to lay off 7,800 of their workers uh, to replace them with AI. Interesting. Um, Dropbox, their CEO uh, plans to lay off 16%, around 500 employees um, to replace with AI. Uh, I'm reading the article right now, and his quote is from his uh, email that he sent out to his staff is first, while our business is profitable, our growth has been slowing. Part of this is due to the natural uh, maturation of our of our existing businesses. But more recently, headwinds from the economic downturn have put pressure on our customers. In a turn, our business, as a result, some investment that have been used to deliver positive returns are no longer sustainable. Second, second, and more consequently, the AI era of computing has finally arrived. And we believe for many years that AI will give us new superpowers and completely transform knowledge work, blah, blah, blah. The opportunity in front of us is greater than ever, but so is our need to act with urgency to seize it. Um, it's interesting uh, how these technologies have, been, have really been out for under a year, but there are billion dollar companies that are laying off <laughs> uh, 10%, 15% of their, of their workforce to replace them with, um, I wouldn't say unproven technology, but a technology that has a, has a lot of room to grow. Like, I don't think chat GPT, uh, four in its current stage can replace, uh, really any type of worker. It can supplement a worker, but it can't replace anyone. But, um, it's interesting that companies are, are really making huge business decisions, decisions, um, now, uh, uh, for the, for the future. Uh, yeah, so it's a little scary, but I mean, how can we prep, um, ourselves, um, in order to really compete in the age of AI? Let's talk about it. So how do we compete in this, uh, age of AI? Um, first, first and foremost, we don't know, nobody knows what jobs are going to be eliminated or, or cut in half, but all we can do is prepare, prepare for the worst. Honestly, I have four things that won't prevent you from being replaced by AI, but would definitely, um, help you in your journey, um, to competing in, um, the current age of AI. The first skill set would be to develop in, uh, uh, um, really refining your soft skills, soft skills, such as critical thinking, uh, creativity, uh, general problem solving and collaboration. I mean, these skills are important because they complement and enhance the capabilities that the AI technologies can do. Um, obviously these technologies, they're going to be able to do data analysis, um, clean data, um, really do anything. So it doesn't really matter how technically skilled a person will be, but it's really going to be about how does this person fit uh, my team and, and do they mesh with, um, with the culture of the company? Um, the second advice will be to have a focus on lifelong learning. 
um, with technology changing and, and really growing so fast, um, it's important to stay up to date with the new developments and trends that are happening in this sector. Uh, I mean, even if you're in like a slow moving sector such as healthcare or finance, you need to make it a habit to regularly uh, read industry publications about what's happening, attend conferences, read books. Um, I would I would tell everyone to read a book uh, by Jeff Booth. Um, I forgot the name of it, but I'll, I'll tag it and I'll, I'll put it in the video. It talks about how tech, the, the nature of technology is deflationary. So uh, tech gets better um, and it gets cheaper. So with this, uh, it's not really a theory, but I guess it is a theory, but I mean, with that concept in mind, we have to uh, confer that if uh, ChatGPT is this good, if companies are, are, are laying off 16% of their workforce for an unproven commercial product, what's going to happen in five years once this technology is proven? Something to think about. Um, the third skill set, I wouldn't call it a skill set, but the third thing I would do would be to develop uh, a strong online uh, personal brand um, with the with the rise of remote work, hybrid workforce, online hiring, having a strong online presence is really more important than ever. Um, making sure you have a professional website and up to date LinkedIn and other online portfolio that showcase what you can do, how you do it and um, and, and, and your capabilities. Um, this is not. 2000 anymore. It's 2024. And, and the global workforce is becoming more real. So even though we're in America, we're going to have to compete against people in different countries. You need your online presence to, to really reflect who you are um, and, and, and really excite recruiters, excite the, the AI technology that may be recruiting you in the future to want to hire you. The last step, it kind of reflects on step two, is to stay adaptable. Um, um, don't be resistant to change. AI is still evolving. It's going to be ever evolving and it's changing rapidly. So you need to be adaptable. You need to be open to change, to open to using new technologies. Don't resist. This is one, I know I've talked to a lot of people and a lot of people want to resist um, really engaging with the AI. Um, all they need to do is chat GPT. You do need to use it. <laughs> you need to use it every day. You need to read the Twitter, get on Medium, read Medium blogs. You don't want to, um, to be on the outskirts of this technology, not because you want to be the first person there, like it's a new iPhone, but really because if you don't know this technology, you can't leverage it to be better in your job. It's going to be like not knowing how to use email when it first came out. You're, you're not going to have a skill set that's valuable anymore, no matter what you can do, because the AI technology is going to be able to do it quicker, more efficiently, and cheaper. And we live in a capitalistic society. Um, so, I mean, that's that. I hope you gain some value from this short conversation. I'm going to have a lot more videos um, to put out for you guys. I really appreciate you um, tuning in for this episode. Um, thank you for joining, on us, joining us on the Unknown Options. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have a nice night.